Hi, DJ. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you. Very nice, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> you're, you're glad to hear that, right? Me too, me too. Me too, I'm glad that you're okay. Hey, um, has it been raining over there by your house? Um, a little bit. A little bit, oh, okay. Over here too, I thought it was going to be a big storm, but... It hasn't rained that much. Eh, como pringando? No, 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 no. Yeah, drizzling, drizzling. It has been drizzling. Solo pringando. It has been drizzling. It has been drizzly. Drizzling, drizzling. Drizzling. Yes. Drizzling. Okay. So, yeah, over here too. Yeah, I thought it was going to be very big because you know. Uh, with the other programs, um, Insafor stopped everything. I mean, with the, with the presential classes. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what? Why? So, but it's good. I have vacation from the other from the other programs. 
<laughs> I'm on the long vacation, a long weekend. I live in El Puerto de la Libertad. It's... Okay, so it, nothing is happening over there in La Libertad. No. Cool. Okay. I like Puerto de la Libertad. Teacher. Hey, good evening, Graciela. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, see. good evening, Sandra. Okay, you know, I like um, El Puerto de la Libertad, but to go and eat mariscos, it's seafood, I love it. Well, yeah. Yeah. When we go with my friends, um, I like this, uh, I like this new restaurant, La Puerta, no, La Ventana, La Ventana is very nice, very nice. La Ventana, I... It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. It's right there. Um, in La Libertad, but uh, coming coming to, to San Salvador. Mm. It's, it's called La Ventana. Check it out on, on Facebook. It's really cool. I will look for you cool. All right. I see more people. I see Tatiana. I see Abby. Okay. Um, as you know, we started yesterday with a lot of things. So we need to finish uh, section three and well, section two and three for this week, but we have until Friday to do that. Okay, let me just check this up. Quiet. Okay, over here. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's move on, and I'm going to share with you since you guys are very early. It's okay. So, um, because we need to finish everything really, really soon. Okay, so what is this? Uh, this one. Let me just check it out. Okay, let me just make sure that this is the correct PowerPoint. Oh yeah, this is it. Uh, online section number two. Okay, do you guys remember where we left off yesterday? And then nos quedamos ayer. What was? Do you guys remember? Two point twelve. Two point twelve. All right. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Let's see. Two point twelve. Okay. There it is. Uh, this lesson participant will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparisons with adjectives by expressing preferences. Oh yeah, this is the one. Okay, so let's begin. 12.12, uh, I mean 2.12, achievement indicator. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Everybody? 2.12. 2.12. 2.12. 2.12. To compression with adjectives by expressing preference. Good, good. Pretty good. All right. Remember that adjectives is something that, that is describing a person, a thing, or whatever. It's something that describes a person. Okay? A name. Let's go. So let's do this. Where did you go after school? Where did you go after school? Everybody. Where did you go after school? Where did you go after school? Where did you go after school? I went home after school. We went to the park. I went home after school. We went to the park. Where did Mary go after school? Where did where did Mary go after school? She went to her friend's house. She went to her friend's house. Did Did Juan enjoy his lunch? Did Juan enjoy his lunch? Did he did? No, he didn't. Yes, yes he did. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did you enjoy dessert at the restaurant? Did you enjoy dessert at the restaurant? 
Yes, I did. It was delicious. Yes, I did. It was delicious. It was delicious. No, I didn't. It wasn't sweet enough. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I sweet enough. Enough. Good. Questions here? Questions? No. Everything is good. So notice that in all questions, we use the auxiliary did in simple past, but in the answers, we have the verbs in the past, okay? Yeah. And we see like uh, went is, um, is, is an irregular verb and went and was, wasn't. Okay, cool. So let's move on. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, have a screenshot because we're going to practice later on. Pra uh, screenshot, screenshot. Screenshot. You got it? I got it. I got it. Good, good. Thank you. So let's move on. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Okay, here. Okay, 2.13, 2.13, achievement indicator, instructions, listen to, listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation, write the answers for each person. So somebody was stuck in this today. Alguien se, se quedó trabado hoy aquí en, esta, en este, este episodio. Okay, so let's see. Everybody reading, please. So... Okay, so we're going to listen about their vacation to Jason and Barbara. So let's listen. Okay, number one. Where did Jason go? Where did Jason go? Everybody. Where, Where did Jason, did Jason go? go? Okay, so the, the answer is, go, is going to depend uh, uh, from, from, the, from the platform. So let's say that Jason, um, let's invent, and let's say that uh, Jason, um, digamos que Jason fue al Puerto de la Libertad. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Uh, Jason, Jason went, went to the Puerto de la Libertad. Very good. Jason went to Puerto de la Libertad. No lleva, no lleva um, art, artículo, artículo, ok. Jason went to Puerto de la Libertad, ok. Teacher, uh -huh. en la plataforma, o sea, ahí la respuesta correcta es que Jason went to San Francisco. Okay. Y así le puse yo en la plataforma, pero me sale que es error. Eh, le, le puso la S capital a San y a la F capital a Francisco, San Francisco. Sí, sí, ajá, sí, y me daba error. Okay, no sé si es problema de la plataforma. Puede ser, puede ser, porque hay varios errores también de ellos. Um, pero okay. a veces también tenemos, porque también vi los errores de algunas personas ahí y estaban pegadas, eh, por ejemplo, la, la final de una oración estaba pegada con el punto y luego con la otra oración. O sea, no había espacio en una ni la otra, ni el punto, ¿sí me entienden? Entonces, mm. hay, que, hay que verificar eso, porque a veces eh, no va a pasar de ahí, sino porque el, la plataforma no lo entiende, ¿ok? Teacher, okay. Yes. fíjese que yo en esa eh, solo le puse San Francisco y me la tomó, fíjese. ¿De verdad? No, no le puse nada más, ajá, solo le puse San Francisco sí. ah, pues y, y me la tomó. Uh -huh. Entonces, ya es error de ellos, ya, bueno, porque sí... Si, le puse y me la aceptó. Va, excelente, mm. excelente. Ah, pues como verán, hay veces que eh, los chicos que trabajan en la plataforma hacen bien su trabajo y hay veces que no, porque esa no sería la estructura. La estructura sería He went to San Francisco. ¿Sí me entiendes? Mm -hmm. Entonces, um, lo siento, pero ya eso ese sal, sale de mis manos porque ya es otra pers otras personas que trabajan en eso, ¿ok? Okay. okay, so numero dos. Did he enjoy it? Everybody, did he enjoy it? Did, did he, he enjoy, enjoy it? it? Did he enjoy it? Entonces está diciendo, ¿lo disfrutó él? ¿Sí o no? ¿Qué decía yes. ahí el listening? Yes, he did que lo disfrutó. Yes. Vi a alguien que había puesto, yes, he did it. Le puso el it al final, no va. Solo, yes, I did. Respuestas cortas son, yes, I did, punto, y no, I didn't, punto. 
no lleva nada más. Alguien le había puesto un it, it al final. Ok. Yo solo puse yes y lo aceptó también. También. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es que solo así te acepta, aceptó. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Es, es, son cosas erróneas. No debería ser así, pero ni modo. Ok, um, continuemos entonces. Eh, where did Barbara go, everybody? Where did Barbara go? Eh, ¿Cuál sería la respuesta ahí? Home. She stayed at home. Ok, she stayed home. She stayed home. She home. Okay. Si hablamos de la estructura, si hablamos de su estructura correcta, debería de ser la respuesta, uh, she didn't go anywhere, porque no fue a ningún lado, she stayed home. She didn't go anywhere, she stayed home. Pero de acuerdo a como lo han hecho, creo que solo les va a aceptar, she stayed home. ¿Correcto? Solo home, teacher. Home, solo home. Solo home. Mm -hmm. No, sí. tampoco debería ser así. Oh, my God. Um, bien que me lo dicen porque voy a... Voy a um, I'm going to send a, a, a message to inglés corporativo that, that shouldn't be that, that, you know. No debería ser así. Tienen que poner más cuidado en lo que hacen. Porque si no, los que se van a trabar son ustedes, ¿me entiendes? De hecho, ya les dio problemas, ¿sí o no? Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on. Did she enjoy it? Yes. Did no. she enjoy it? Ok, so, ¿cuál sería la respuesta ahí? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Ok, good. Y ahí terminamos unidad 2. I'm section 2. Section 2, sorry. Ok, en este momento vamos a ir a hacer la práctica del cual? ¿Cuál fue la que tomamos screenshot de esta? 2.13, ok. Si alguien no la tuvo, ahí está. Eh, tome el screenshot, please, y vamos a la práctica. ¿Ya la tienen? Yes. Ok, let's go to practice. Ok, remember to listen to your classmates and make corrections whenever possible, ok? Please. Let's go. Uh, let's see how many participants. Uh, this is good. Okay, go to your rooms and start practicing, please. Uh, Joseph, where did you go after school? I went home after school. We went to the park. Luis, where did Mary go after school? She went to her friend's house. Vamos a ver si Laris escucha. Larisa. Did Juan enjoy his lunch? Enjoy, enjoy. Did Juan enjoy? Did Juan enjoy his lunch? Pero, pero creo que no nos escucha todavía. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, he did. Answer. No, he didn't. Luis, did you enjoy dessert at the restaurant? Yes, I did. It was delicious. No, I didn't. It wasn't sweet enough. 
Hi. 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 Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ladies. Yo creo que sí he tenido problemas para escuchar. Ya, yeah, sí tiene problema. Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a que practicarla. ¿Cuál? Este, el 2.30, no. Mm, ah, no, veo que es la misma. La tomé dos veces. No, es la misma. Bueno, sigamos. Rocío, where did you go after school? I went home after school. We went to the park. Uh, Flor, where did Mary go after school? She went to her friend's house. Griselda, uh, where did Mary go after school? She went to her friend's house. Um, Flor, did Juan enjoy his lunch? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay, um, Veronica, did you enjoy the dessert at the restaurant? Yes, I did. It was delicious. No, I didn't. I, it wasn't sweet, sweet enough. Estela, where did you go after school? Mm, I went home after school. We went to the park. Um, Rocio, uh, where did Mary go after school? She went to her friend's house. Um, Veronica, did... Hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, so as you can see, wait, let me see if everybody came back. I have 17 students, that's good. Okay, so what we finish is section number three. In section number three, it talks about the simple pass, the simple pass, or everything was going to be in simple pass, okay? So remember that in questions, we use the auxiliary did plus the verb in the base form. Utilizamos el auxiliar did y el verbo se queda en su forma base. So no cambia. But instead, in the answers, in the answers, always the verbs are going to be changed into the past. Either regular ED or D, which when you mention it, it has to be uh, taken as a T. So, uh, cuando respondemos, el verbo se convierte en el pasado, ya sea regular o irregular. En regular es fácil porque terminan en ED o solo D, que su función la mencionamos como con T. Okay? Good. Okay, okay. Let's, let's review something about the simple past. Ya vamos a comenzar la sección 3. Pero antes repasemos un poquito de la, del pasado simple. Okay, remember, simple past is number three tense. Es el, el, la, es el tiempo número 3. And what is the simple past? Cuando alguien le pregunta, ¿qué es el presente, el pasado simple? What is the past, the simple past? ¿Qué contestan ustedes? ¿Se acuerdan? Oh, ya se me olvidaron. Come on, come on. Esto es algo que deberían de manejar al 100%. Acuérdense que les dije. Es cuando se les cambia, teacher, o se le agrega el ED. O dependiendo. No, 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 no. No, no. no. An action that occurred in the past. No, not really, not past. really, not really. No, tiene que ser definitivo. Action or verb that started and ended in the past. Verbo o acción que empezó y terminó en el 
pasado. Pasado. Okay. Pero empezó y terminó. Si no, lo, si no lo tienen así, está malo. Lo van a confundir con otros tiempos. Ok. So. Ok. It's a verb or action that started and ended in the past. Action or verb that started and ended in the past. Es el pasado simple. How do we recognize it? Because we use the auxiliary did in questions and in the answers, we use the simple past in verbs. Okay. And what is the, uh, the general question for simple past? Do you guys remember? What did you do? What, what, did, what did you do? do? What did you do? Excellent. Excellent. So that's it. That was the simple past. Okay. So let's move on and start section number three. Me gusta porque ya vamos a comenzar directo la sección número tres. Okay. Let me share it with you guys. I'm going to share it. Here it is. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so there it is. Uh, Pre-intermediate two, online class, section number three, Wednesday, today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. So let's see what, what is this section all about. Vamos a ver de qué se trata esta sección. Oh, what's your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? Así se llama esta sección. What's your neighborhood like? Todos. What, what's your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? Y eso significa como, ¿cómo es tu vecindario? ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? O sea, si es seguro, eh, o sea, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es el clima ahí? ¿Ok? So, let's see. Achievement indicator for the section. Successfully identify... Discuss and talk about describing locations, asking about neighborhoods, asking about quantities. Everybody? Achievement indicator. Identify about quantities. Quantities, 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 No solamente vamos a hablar de, vamos a preguntar de, eh, de, de ¿cómo se llama? Neighborhoods, um, ¿cómo se llama eso? Neighborhoods. ¿Cómo dijimos que eran neighborhoods? ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? vecindario. ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? Okay. No solamente vamos a preguntar de vecindario, sino que también vamos a preguntar de cantidades, ¿ok? Ok, let's go. 3.0. 3.0 achievement indicator. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Todos. 3.0 Very good. Vamos a ver allí que vamos a utilizar qué hay allí. Okay. En singular eh, va a ser There is, singular, y there are, plurales. Veamos. All right, number one. Who is that? 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 That is Jack, our new neighbor. That is Jack, our new neighbor. Where does he come from? Where does, where does, where does, does he come from? from? Where does he come from? Where does he come from? Where does, where does, does he come, come from? from? He just moved in from New York City. He just he moved, just moved, moved in, from in, just from in from New York, from City. New York City. City. What does he do? What, what does, does, he, does, he, does he, he do? I think that he is a musician. I think, I think that, that, he, is I think that he, he is a musician. What is he looking for? What is he looking, is he looking for? for? He's looking for a grocery store. 
She is looking for a grocery store. Okay, okay. Thank you. Any questions here? Preguntas? What is grocery store? Grocery store is donde venden comida preparada. Okay, thank you. ¿Alguien más? Como comida rápida. No, no, no. Comida rápida es Wendy's, Burger King. Eso no. Eso es como que ya, por ejemplo, pavo, cual para el Día de Acción de Gracias, lo van a encontrar ahí en grocery store. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Quiero que... Yes. La pronunciación viene de vecino, neighbor. 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 Okay. Y en plural solo le agrega la S. Neighbors. Neighbors. Okay. Good. Quiero que pongan especial atención en la primera pregunta. Esto se tomaría inadecuado hacerlo. So this is totally wrong when, when you know the person. Or se toma como de mala educación. Pero cuando no conoce a la persona tiene que hacer esta pregunta. Y es, who is that? O, o cuando lo hacen con, con contracción, who's that? Who's that? So, ahí está preguntando, ¿quién es ese o quién es esa? Cuando no la conoce. ¿Quién es esa o quién es esa? Es, o puede ser, eh, o puede ser eh, who específico. Who is he? Who is she? Who is, who is she? Or who is the boy? Who is the girl? Who is the, 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 who is the man? Who is that woman? Ok. So, esos serían específicos ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh, screenshot. Para práctica. Screenshot. I got it. You got it? I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Okay, let's go with 3.2. 3.2, a shipment indicator. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with this is and there are. One, any, some. Todos? 3.2 Achievement Indicator Session Participant will learn about Ask and Answer Question with Luis Gerard Vale, las preguntas son There is, ahí me equivoco y me equivoqué yo a decir There is, so es There is, there are There is, there are Ok, ok Ok, volvemos Ojo a las preguntas, ¿ok? Ok. Is there a shopping mall near here? Is there a shopping mall near here? ¿Todos? Is there a shopping mall near here? Is there a shopping mall near here? Is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there are some. Metrocentro, galerías, multiplaza, en Soho. Yes, there are some Metrocentro Galería Soho 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 es donde está arriba de Multiplaza la que sigue ¿Cómo se llama? Las Cascadas Entonces a esa también se le llama Soho Vamos a la siguiente Is there a church near here? Is there a church near here? No, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. No, no, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. No, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. No, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. Are there any barber shops around here? Are there any barber shops around here? No, there aren't any, but there are some beauty salons. No, there aren't any. There are some beauty salons. Are there any casinos around this neighborhood? Are there any casinos around this neighborhood? Are there any casinos around this neighborhood? Yes, there is one in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Yes, yes, there is one in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Very good. Any questions here in this part? No. 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 What does it mean closest? El más cerca. El más cerca. Okay, a screenshot. A screenshot. We're going to practice. 
Could you repeat beauty or beauty? Beauty, beauty salons. Beauty, beauty salon. Thank beauty you. Beauty salon. Thank you. Hi, Larissa. Hello, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Nancy, ¿qué pasó? Nancy, is raising your hand. No, I make a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, Vicky levantó la mano, so, por eso preguntaba. Okay, very good. So, let's go and practice. ¿Ya todos tienen la, la, la screenshot? Yes. Okay. yes. Vamos a la práctica. Okay, remember to listen to your classmates and please make corrections when somebody's making a mistake, okay? Let's go. Okay, go to your rooms and start practicing. Usted manda la, la captura al grupo, Verónica. ¿Hola? Usted, usted manda la captura al grupo. No, no, no. No. No, Larisa las envía, pero pueden ¿Quién me está fallando todo esto? Y la anterior, Larisa la envía. Ah, gracias. Espérenme si me desconecto que me está fallando el inter bastante. Ya me uno otra vez. Hello. I think that he's he is a musician. He is. What is he looking for? He is looking for a grocery store. Kenya. Who is that? That is Jack, our, our new neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> Where does he come from? He just moved in from, in from New York City. What does he do? I think that he is a musician. What is he looking for? He is looking for a grocery store. Michelle, who is that? That is Jack, our new neighbor. Where does he come from? He just moved in from New York City. What does he do? I think that he is a music musician. Mu musician. Musician. What is he looking for? He's looking for a grocery store. Okay. ¿Quién falta solo Nancy? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Nancy, who is that? That is Jack, our new neighbor. Where does he come from? He just moved in from New York City. What does he do? I think that he is a musician. And what is he looking for? He's looking for a grocery store. Michelle. Oh. <laughs> I will share the next screenshot. Okay. Okay. Michelle, so, is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there are some. Metro Centro, Galerias, Multiplaza, and so. Is there a church near here? No, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. Are there any barber shops around here? No, there aren't any, but there are some beauty salons. Are there any casinos around this neighborhood? Yes, there is one in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Uh, Nancy, is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there are some. Metro Centro, Galerías, Multiplaza, and Soho. Is there a church near here? No, there isn't. The closest is in downtown. Are there any barber shops around here? 
No, there aren't any, but there are some beauty salons. Are there any casinos around this neighborhood? Yes, there is one in Antigua, Cuscatlán. Ulises, is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there are some. Metro Centro, Galerías, Multiplaza, and Soho. Is there a short? Teacher. Yes. Uh, sorry, but uh, I, I tell in Spanish, but I don't know. But um, I think uh, my internet is very bad this night. Uh, this night. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I know that a lot of people are suffering from from internet um, connections right now. And it's because of, of the weather. The weather has to do with that. Okay. I can I can yeah I can um, uh, see you, but I can hear in my computer. I don't know. <laughs> but you cannot see anything. No, I see all the the the, the student er, er, the teacher. I I see, but I don't I don't listen anything. No, oh, that's why. Okay, so sorry about I, that. I don't know. Sorry to <laughs> yes I am um, now is uh, is on my uh, cell phone and um, um, I I am um, I I hear you okay good 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 thank you okay so okay as, so let's move on and we're going to have um the next thing and let me see what is next uh, there it is okay so let's go and see what is next okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. If for some reason you, you don't hear us, uh, please remember that you can check out the video after we, we finish the class, I post it in the WhatsApp, okay? Yes, I know, thank good, you. Good. Just in case, just in case, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, let's go with 3.4, knowledge check, knowledge check. Instructions, take a look at the map, read the questions and choose the right place according to the direction given. Everybody? Okay. Now let's check. Um, check. Take a look of the map. Take a look at 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 the map. Very good. Okay, let's check it out. So we're going to see in a map. Okay, this is in the platform, okay? This is what you're going to see in the, in the, in the platform. Is there a near here yes there is one is one on the corner of elm street and maple street aquí lo que van a tener que hacer es ver los nombres de las ciudades de las calles en que están las cosas y de allí van a van a saber si está si es una librería si es un hotel o es un parque ok ok Bye. pero en este caso solo leamos eh, lo que tenemos ahí ok is there a ejemplo is there a library near here yes there is one it is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Todos? Is, is there, there a, a library? library? A library. Yes, there is one. Yes, there it is, is one. one. Yes, there is one. On the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. On the corner of the Maple Avenue. 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 Very good. Number two. Is there a bank around here? Yes, there's one. It is next to Princess Grocery Store. Todos? Is, is, there is there a band, band around, around here? Around here? here. Is there is one. one. Yeah. It is next to the next grocery store. But acuérdense que yo solo estoy usando la primera como como ejemplo, okay? Puede ser que esté diferente en la plataforma, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Three. Is there a park near here? Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Is there, is there a park near here? There is one behind Parker Drugstore. Very good. Four, is there a cafe on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Todos? 
Is there, is there a cafe on the Avenue? Avenue? No, no. There, there is a place on the Main Street. 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 Are there are there hotels on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Are there, are there, there hotels, are there hotels on, on Main Street? No, there, there, there are. are. There are some nice stores on Main Street. Main Street. Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and all the department store. Is there a gym? Is there a gym? There? There? Yes, there is. Between the post office and the post office. Is there a gym? Yes, there is. Between the post office and the post office. Is there a gym? Yes, there is. Between the post office and the post office. Is there a gym? Yes, there is. Between the post office and the post office. Is there an electronic store on Second Avenue? Is there, is there an electronic is there store, store, store on Second Avenue? Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from Shopping Center. No, no there isn't. There, there, there is there one on First Avenue, Avenue across from Shopping Center. Shopping Center. Is there a public library around here? Yes, there is. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Todos? Is, is there, there a public there library, library around, around here? Around here? Yes, there is, there is one, one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. 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 Okay, there is. I did terminate. Thank you. 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 Son las preposiciones de lugares. ¿Ok? ¿Qué preposiciones de lugares conocen ustedes? Prepositions. On the corner of. On the corner of. On the, on the corner of. Between. Between. Next to. Next to. Behind. Near. Behind. Close to. Behind. Bien, bien. Están bien. Bien. ¿Qué tal con. Para decir por allí. Por allí o cerca de allí. ¿Cuál utilizamos? Close to over there. No. Close to by near here. By near here. By near here. Bye. 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 All right, so that's good. You are, you are good with the prepositions. So let's move on. Y esto nos lleva a 3.5 achievement indicator. In this session, participants sure. follow a conversation about a neighborhood taking into account questions like how many, how much with quantifiers. Todos? 3.5 Bien, ¿alguien me iba a preguntar algo? Sí, sí, teacher. Eh, yo tengo una duda con, con una de las preguntas del, del knowledge check. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, no sé si puede ponerlo justo en la anterior, creo que era. Ajá, ahí donde dice, there is on, on the corner of. No, 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 puede, es que, es que el, acuérdense que el, el que está haciendo las, la, eh, la plataforma se está equivocando. Es one, le faltó la N. There is one y le faltó la N. Solo dice on, on. Por eso se, se equivocó y dice, there is on, on. Pero en el primer on debería decir one. O, N, E. <coughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Bien, um, let's move on. Let's move on. So let's see. Number one, how do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? How do you, do you like, like your, your new, new apartment? apartment? I love it. It's close to my job and the neighbors are friendly. I love it. 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 I
I don't like it very much. It's a noisy neighborhood. I don't like it very much. It's a noisy neighborhood. Where is it located? Where is it Where is it located? Where is it located? It's located at Colonia Flor Blanca next to Magico Gonzalez Stadium. It's located at Colonia Flor Blanca next to Magico Gonzalez Stadium. How many restaurants are there near your place? How many restaurants are there near your place? How many restaurants are there near your place? There are many. There is Cafe Don Pedro, La Casona Restaurant, and a Chinese restaurant is called China Garden. There are, there are many. many. There, are many. Is there is many. There is many. There is There is There is There is There is There is much crime? No, not at all. Since there are three different police stations all around. No, 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 Ready. Todos ya tienen el screenshot? Yes. Okay, let's go. Practice, practice, practice. Let's see here. Okay, remember, pay attention to your classmate and make corrections, please. Let's go. Everybody go to your room and start practicing. tenido problemas. Usted tiene el screenshot. Disculpe, es que le voy a hacer que he tenido problemas y me tuve que ir hasta mi celular y no lo tengo en mi celular. Va a disculpar. Ah, fíjese que lo tengo en el celular. No sé si Flor o Isela lo tienen. Yo eh, lo Vaya, Gris, okay. ayúdenos. Gracias. A Grisela, gracias. Thank you, Grisela. Okay. Grisela, how do you like your new apart apartment? I love it. It's close to my job and the neighbor neighbors are friendly. I don't like it very much. It's a noise neighborhood. Noisy, noisy. 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 Larissa, where is it located? Where is it? Where is it located? Where is it located? It's located at Flor Colonia Flor Blanca next to Magico Gonzalez Stadium. Uh, Veronica, how many restaurants are there near your place? There are many. There is Coffee Cafe Don Pedro, La Casona Restaurant, and a, and a China restaurant. Chinese. It, Chinese. Chinese. And a Chinese restaurant, it's called China Garden. Elisela, uh, is there much crime? Not, not, uh, not at all. Since there are three different police stations all around. Uh, Flor, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's close to my job and the neighborhood are friendly. I don't like it very much. It's a noisy neighborhood. Okay, um, Veronica, where is located? Where it's is located? It, where is it where located? Is it, where, where is it located? It's located at Colonia Flor Blanca, next to Magico Gonzalez Stadium. Uh, Larissa, how many restaurants are there near your place? There are many. 
There is coffee, um, Don Pedro, coffee Don Pedro, la casona restaurant and Chinese restaurant. It's called China Garden. Chinese. 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 Chinese restaurant. It's called China Garden. Grisela, is there much crime? Called China Garden. Is there much crime? No, not at all, since there are three different police stations all around. Okay, Ulysses, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's close to my job and the neighbors are friendly. I don't like it very much. It's a noisy neighborhood. Where is it located? It's located at Colonia Pro Blanca next to Mexico Gonzalez Stadium. How many restaurants are there near your place? There are many. There is Cafe Don Pedro, La Casona Restaurant, and a Chinese restaurant. It's called China Garden. Is there much crime? Oh. Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm just gonna have a couple of minutes explaining uh, because this section is going, uh, we're talking about apartments, houses and all of that stuff, okay? So there are many important things that we can talk about when, when we talk about houses. Okay, let's wait for everybody. I have 14, 15, 16. It was about 17 or 18, I guess. Okay, one more. Okay, I guess not. Okay, guys, uh, when we are talking about um, apartment, is where we live, okay? So in this case, uh, we're not used to uh, having apartments. We are used to talking about houses. Okay, question number one about houses is, how big is your house? Everybody, how big is your house? How big is, how big is, your, how big house? is your house? How, how big, big is your house? How big, how big is, your, is house? your house? How big um, Okay, so in the answer, we can say, my house is big. My house is big. Todos? My, my house, house, is, my big. house big. is big. My house is big. Okay, number two, my house is medium. My house is my medium. House is medium. My, my house, house is medium. Is medium. Very good. And the last one is, my house is a small. My house is a small. My house, my house, house is, is a small. small. Good. Another question that we have for the houses is, how many rooms does your house have? How many rooms does your house have? Todos? How many, how many rooms, rooms does your house, house have? House. 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 Uh, how many rooms does your house have? How many, how many rooms does your house, house have? have. House. House. How many rooms does your house have? How many, 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 todos los cuartos, todos los cuartos que posee, hasta si tiene garage, ok, so, en la respuesta te va a decir, my house has five rooms, my house has five rooms, todos, my house, my house has five rooms, my house has five rooms, my house has five rooms. Ok, y con eso nos vamos a quedar. Mañana vamos a, a tener un poquito más de explicación sobre cómo hablar de las casas, cómo hablar de lo que tenemos en las casas, cómo utilizar del it y there are con, lo, con un cuarto en la casa, ¿ok? So, eso lo tenemos. Okay. Okay. So, nos quedamos allí. You guys have a nice night.
and now she have a nice night. Hi, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep like a baby, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Ciao. Good night, everybody.